Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Hernandez. I'm a neurosurgeon at Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health. I focus on diseases of the brain, the spine, and the nerves. And my particular focus is on minimally invasive spine surgery. My youngest brother has epilepsy, which is a seizure disorder. And so it was kind of always part of my life growing up. And then in high school, I became interested in the neurosciences. And then in college, I majored in neuroscience. And then as I went through medical school, realized I really enjoyed surgery and then married those two. The neurosurgery training is seven years. During one of those years, I spent a year doing a fellowship focused entirely on minimally invasive spine surgery at New York Presbyterian Cornell. I came to Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health because it's a fantastic institution. I was impressed by the breadth of specialty care that is offered here, the superb training of the physicians. And here I've been able to bring my own minimally invasive techniques to treat the community, which has been a great privilege. Through advanced techniques and instruments and technologies that we have available, we can really target the treatment to the area that's causing issues for the patient. We're seeing good outcomes with shorter hospital stays, less post-operative pain, quicker return to normal life. We've been able to transition some surgeries that maybe would require overnight stays or even a few days in the hospital. And these patients are going home the same day. The patients often ask me if they need to be on bed rest after surgery, and I usually laugh because it's the last thing I want them to do. I tell them they're going to be up and walking within a few hours. Each patient is different. And so it's important to be able to do both minimally invasive procedures, but as well as the traditional open procedures. One of the joys of being a spine surgeon is seeing the patients in clinic after surgery, smiling, walking without pain, and back to enjoying the things that they like to do.